Welcome to my 2022 Betterment tutorial. So in this video, I'm gonna create my Betterment account and start investing. In this video, we'll be creating a Roth IRA, but the account creation process for other types of accounts will be very similar. I will be creating a Betterment review video, but I'm just creating my first account. So the review video will be much more in depth after I've had my account for a couple of weeks. So as soon as that video is ready, you'll be able to find it in the description and I'll also link to it at the very end of this video. One thing I wanna mention before we go further, I'm not a financial advisor and nothing in this video is financial advice. It's for purely educational purposes. Before making any investments, you wanna make sure to do your own research. If you're ready to create an account with Betterment, I will put my referral or affiliate link down below in the description. I may earn a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And from time to time, Betterment will be running different offers for new account signs. Signups. If you use my link or go to betterment.com, you'll come to a page that looks something like this. You can see the current referral offer is join Betterment and get up to $5,000 in assets managed for free. And this is managed for the first year. So the first 365 days of having your account, you won't pay the management fee on the first five grand. And scrolling down further, we're gonna talk about their fee. So you can see one low transparent fee of 0.25%. So Betterment charges 0.25% on your investment with them. And then the ETFs they're invested in also have small fees. Usually the fees that they're using are very low cost, but to keep in mind, you're gonna have those two fees. And to learn more, you can click on see pricing right here. So you can see they have a couple of different product offerings. So the no fee along the left is for their checking account and what they call cash reserve, which is their savings account, which is 0.35%, which we've talked about in other videos, the top uh, online savings account right now are paying up to a percent and a quarter. So I wouldn't recommend using this right now. And then the middle is their digital robo advisor. So you see digital investing and it's a quarter percent. So $250 for, or $2.50 for every thousand dollars you have with them per year. And then along the right hand side, if you have over a hundred thousand dollars, they offer a more advanced or more one on one service. So you can see here, if you have the hundred grand, you can upgrade to the premium investing. And here you get to talk to professionals. So you can see unlimited calls and emails with our team of certified financial planners and then in depth advice on the investments that you're, that you have outside of betterment. But that's basically the pricing. I'll be talking about this a lot more in my review video, but let's get our account created. So get started. The email address, you can see offer applied. Let's do this. Password, okay. Okay, so my phone number. I don't think I need more text messages. Continue. Okay, lastly, there are the agreements. Check this box. Uh, to agree to the limited scope advisor agreement, the privacy poly form, CRS relationship summary form, ADV brochure. I'm gonna click this for now and I'll, let's just open these up so I can read them later, but I'm not gonna bother you with that right now. Create account. You are finished setting up your account. There we go. Okay, so what do you wanna do now? Start growing money, invest for a specific goal, invest for retirement. Down below we have spend with cash and save with cash reserve. So the main different account types and what we're gonna do today is invest for retirement. Okay, let's gather the basic first and get those out of the way, then we'll set up your account. Let's do this. All right, so the next step, I need to fill in my address. Now they need my birthday and social security number. This is common for setting up any investment account. Now to make my account secure, I need to choose two security questions and write the answers. All right, continue. Now I need to fill out the financial profile. So in this part, they're gonna to wanna to know how much I make, my assets and liabilities currently, and the risk I'm willing to take or how much fluctuation I'm willing to see in the investments that I'm making. So let's click continue. Tell us about your employment. I am self-employed. Then your tax status. Then they wanna know how much investing experience you have. And whenever setting up an investment or brokerage account, they're gonna ask questions like this. They wanna know, are you employed or associated with a broker dealer? Are you a 10% shareholder, director, or policy maker of a publicly, tra publicly traded company? Have I been notified by the IRS that I'm currently subject to backup withholding? Most people are gonna say no to all of these, none apply. Lastly, there are terms and conditions. So I think these are the files that I already opened that I'll read later. By clicking this box, I acknowledge that you have read and agreed to the terms above, accept and finish. Then they wanna double check and make sure your birthday and social are correct. So if they are, hit continue. 
accept and finish. Okay, so they still need to verify some information, so let's see what that's all about. All right, verify phone number. Review and confirm your personal information. So let's see, maybe they need my middle initial. All right, verify your identity with your mobile phone. Continue. Let's do the QR code. Okay, so here's a list of the different retirement accounts you can create with Betterment. So you have a traditional IRA, Roth IRA, SEP IRA, individual taxable account, joint taxable, or a trust. We're gonna create a Roth IRA today and continue. Are you saving for retirement? Yes, I'm saving for retirement. Not retired yet. Tax status, desired retirement age. Sure, how about 68? Hopefully much, much sooner. All right, so goal name. So one of the nice thing I've seen with Betterment is that you can save or invest for individual goals. So this right here would be for retirement. If I'm saving for something much sooner, so three or five years from now, I'm gonna have a much less aggressive portfolio than something that's 20 plus years away. So it's kind of nice that I'm setting this up and can set up other goals in the future with different portfolios with more or less risk. Let's click on continue. All right, so which image do we want for retirement? I don't see any old people. Um, sure, retire on the beach, let's do that. How do you wanna invest? So there's three options here. Pick the portfolio for me. We'll invest your money in our diverse, low cost core portfolio. I'll pick the portfolio myself. Choose from six expert built portfolios from socially responsible investing to innovative technology. I want more flexibility. Select your own asset class weights while still enjoying our tax saving strategies. And then, so can I change later? I imagine it's gonna say yes. Will each goal of mine use the same portfolio? No, what I was saying a second ago, different goals, different portfolios. So let's see, let's check out the pick the portfolio for me. So right now the portfolio is their core account and the allocation is 90% stocks and 10% bonds. Let's just see what it looks like if we click on either of these to make edits. Uh, so it takes me back here. Um, pick portfolio for me again. If I want to change this, what does it let me do? Okay, so here we go. Choose an option to manage your portfolio allocation. Automatically select and adjust for me. Let's do the hard stuff. We'll invest at your recommended ratio of 90% stocks and 10% bonds, adjusting your allocation to help you reduce risk as you near your goals due date. So as I'm 62 and retiring at 68, it's gonna be much more bonds and less equities. I want to set and adjust for myself. So let's just see what happens here. All right, so here it's giving me the option to personalize the investments. So just to see how this would work, what if we pull this down? So now we're at 42% stocks and 58% bonds. So very conservative, diversified, likely returns from minus seven to 17%. And what is, what is the makeup right now? And then I'll go back to where it was and maybe go to 100% equities. So we have US short-term treasury bonds and it gives you the name of the ETF that they're gonna be using for each one of these. Then you have the US short-term investment grade bonds, US total stock market, US value stocks, large cap, value stocks, mid cap, value stocks, small cap, international developed markets, international emerging markets, US inflation protected bonds, US high quality bonds, developed market bonds, emerging market bonds. Okay, so this would be a very conservative portfolio according to Betterment if we go all the way to is it letting me go to 100? There we go, 100% stocks, zero bonds. So very aggressive, but still very very well diversified. You're gonna see now you have a higher potential return on the upside and a larger potential loss on the downside. That's essentially what happens when you have more bonds in the mix, you're gonna see things are more stable, but you're not gonna have as high a potential returns. But in terms of the downside, you could also lose more money as well. Now let's see what happened with the total weights. I'm not sure if there's anything different in the portfolio or if it's just changing the percentages. So you can see now the total stock market for the US, 35%, 9% in value large, 7.5% value mid, 6.4% in small cap value. And then developed markets is another 27 and 15% in emerging markets. So if this was the portfolio that I wanted to choose, the next step would be to click continue. All right, so now we have my retirement portfolio, 100% stock, 0% bonds, and let's create this goal. All right, before you can create your account, you need to agree to terms, privacy, customer agreements, CRS relationship, this, by checking this box, you indicate this. Um, distribution, you elect not to have federal state taxes withheld when you withdraw from or convert your IRA. By checking this box, you acknowledge and agree that you have read and agreed the terms above. Accept and finish. 
Okay, so we have a Roth IRA now and our account is set up, but what we need to do now is add some money to this new account. So here's something interesting that's reminding me of, max out your IRA before April 18th. So in 2022, you're probably not gonna watch this video in time to take advantage of this, but for 2023, if you want to contribute to 2022's Roth IRA limit, you can invest up to $6,000 per year if you're under 50 years old and you are below the income thresholds. If you're over 50 and below the thresholds, you can contribute another $1,000. So you could contribute $7,000. But say we take this example a year later. So in, in April, 2023, if you haven't met the $6,000 limit for 2022, you could contribute additional money for the prior year. And then for 2023, you could still get that $6,000. So if you don't max it out, just a small fact that I thought I'd mention here because it's reminding me is you can contribute for the prior year up until tax day. All right, let's see what we need to do to connect my bank account and add some money to the Roth IRA. So scrolling down a little further, all right, schedule deposit. So there's none, set up recurring deposit. And then down here it says connected account. So I probably need to connect my bank account. All right, so connect instantly using Plaid, get started. Here are the accounts connected to your profile. So it looks like it pulled in all of my different accounts with SoFi. Let's click on finish. All right, let's go back to the Roth IRA. This, I don't think we need to look at right now. All right, so here is the Roth IRA. Let's make our first deposit. I have not verified my email. Let's do that. There we go. It is my email. Okay, so where was I at before? Let's see if deposit here lets me do it. So deposit from connect to a bank, you already have. Okay, text me again, all right. Authenticate, let's do it. All right, the bank I have connected. Funding account updated. So what do I wanna do now? Okay, so we have from my SoFi account to the Roth IRA, deposit type, contribution, and then tax year. So being that it's before tax day, I can choose 2021 and contribute to the prior year. Let's invest $100 into our new Roth IRA. Review deposit, there we go. Submit deposit, drum roll, did it work? Boo. We are momentarily unable to connect to so far. Please try again later. Let's try this one more time just for better luck. Okay, contribution went through, boom. Deposit note, do we have a reason? I have funds available from my normal cash flow. Surplus, moving these investments from elsewhere. I expect, I'm expecting favorable markets. All right, I have funds available. Save note. There's one more thing I wanna do before we end this video, which is set up recurring deposits. So these are really, really important if you want to reach your financial goals without having to think about it. So I even have a whole email course where I walk you through step-by-step step how to automate your finances, how to set it and forget it. If you're interested in checking that out, check out the link in the description below. But for this video, let's set up a recurring deposit for our Roth IRA. Really quickly, if you wanna do max out your Roth IRA on autopilot, you would take these $6,000, the amount you could put in for the year, and then divide that by the amount of periods where you would put money in. So if you started January 1st and wanted to invest monthly, then you would put in $500 per month to reach the $6,000 by the end of the year. If you did that on a weekly basis, so there's 52 weeks in a year, and you would invest $115 per week. Here in the bottom right-hand corner, you see set up recurring deposit. Let's click on that and see what we need to do now. All right, so same bank account, same Roth IRA contribution, tax year. So I would say the recurring deposit, the next one is gonna come in for the 2022 tax year. So the frequency, let's put at, so you can see annually, monthly, twice a month, every other week, weekly. Let's go with weekly, starting on Monday, let's say starting on Tuesday, the 19th, and let's put in $25 per week. Review deposit. All right, so we have contribution bank account to Roth IRA for 2022 tax year weekly on Tuesdays starting on April 19th of $25 per week. Submit deposit. Boom. 
All right, so we created our account with Betterment, chose the portfolio that we want to invest in for our first goal, which is our retirement, and connected our bank account, made our first deposit, and set up recurring deposits to make sure that every single week we're putting additional money into the Roth IRA account. So after I've had this account for a couple of weeks, you'll find my Betterment review video up above right here. And if you want to see how Betterment compares to a bunch of other investment platforms, check out the videos down below. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye.